Welcome to Finabel News. These are your top stories in European security and defense. The Spanish Navy plans to equip the Marine Infantry with a wheeled combat vehicle armed with a turreted 105mm or 120mm gun to replace the firepower lost with the retirement of the M60 tank. While funds are pending, the Spanish company Leonardo Hispania has offered its hitback three-man turret. This can operate a reduced recoil gun of either caliber. Together with the main gun, the turret can incorporate a coaxial machine gun and a remote weapon station. It is a third generation electro-optical system and an autoloader is available upon request. HitFact can be mounted on both tracked and wheeled vehicles having been successfully tested on the Marder and the Pandora armor vehicle families. Armed with a 120mm gun, HitFact was recently acquired by the Italian Army to equip the Iveco Otomalara Centauro II. Altogether, 500 units of Centauro II have been produced. Leonardo Hispania states that if the Navy opts for the hit fact, production will take place in Valencia with the support of a Spanish supply chain. German-based company Quantum Systems, specialist in the development and the production of modern UAVs, will showcase its Vector and Scorpion 2-in-1 system at this year's International Defence Exhibition and Conference in Abu Dhabi. This 2-in-1 system is designed to enhance and the effectiveness of battlefield intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance systems. This is a next generation unmanned aerial vehicle which has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. This opens up new applications with its unique Scorpion configuration. By removing the wings and attaching a separate set of copter arms, operators can create a dedicated multi-copter platform for a wide variety of applications. The Vector is a fixed wing vertical takeoff reconnaissance drone system that is extremely quiet and can operate in the most difficult of terrains. It has a flight duration of approximately 120 minutes and, thanks to an encrypted mesh IP link, it can send video streams up to 15 kilometers away. Similarly, the Scorpion is designed for optimal performance in adverse conditions and with extreme temperatures. This tricopter with larger propellers and motors is ideal for smaller scale operations and for stationary use, with a flight autonomy of 45 minutes. United Kingdom has donated 100 armoured Land Rover patrol vehicles with revised weapons mount installation kits to the Lebanese Armed Forces. These vehicles are to tackle the threat from terrorism on its border with Syria. The revised weapons mount installation kit Land Rovers are capable of tackling the rugged Syrian border terrain and can be mounted with heavy weapons. They have been given to Lebanese Army's land border regiments to enable them to patrol their borders more effectively. These vehicles will allow them to keep a closer watch over their borders to prevent extremists who could attempt to travel to Europe from entering Lebanon. The Lebanese border is also used by international arms and drug smugglers with illicit cargoes transited through the country and onto other parts of the world. The United Kingdom support for the Lebanese armed forces, who drove Daesh out of Lebanese territory in 2017, is an important part of the United Kingdom's contribution to counter Daesh operations in Iraq and in Syria. Finally, we have Finnabel's internal news flash, covering the latest news and developments of Finnabel, the European Army Interoperability Centre. On Thursday the 18th of February, Finnebel held a meeting with the Swedish Defence University in Stockholm. During this meeting, Finnebel had the chance to introduce future plans, including a partnership with a European Defence University. This cooperation will enrich both participating university and Finnebel and will further their goal of European Army interoperability. Finnebel would like to thank Colonel Stefan Hoibri, Finnebel's Swedish PME, Major Ulrich Honsen Milt, our assistant Swedish PME, Brigadier General Fredrik Stulbari, Vice Dean of the Swedish Defence University, Mr. Christian Jepson, Head of the Military Science Faculty at the Swedish Defence University, and finally Mr. Anders Palmegren, Head of the Programme for Higher Officer Training. Their time and their enthusiasm for future projects and their cooperation is greatly appreciated by all at Finnabel. The Finnabel Trainee Programme is open to all military universities. Check out our website www.finnabel.org for more details about this programme.